Niddle felting a dragon, adding the feet. Hey, it's Pam from Ben Fuzzy Lugs again, back with our regular Thursday's needle felting tutorial. And just now we're still in the dragon felting series. So as a wee bonus, yesterday I brought out a review section for some of the products I've been using. So if you want to check over on that, if you're not into following the dragon, then I'll leave some links up there somewhere. I make needle felting videos every Thursday. On Monday I do Eatsy Small Crafter Shop tips and tutorials and I haven't decided when I'm going to be putting in my review videos but I'll sort that out if you let me know in the comments below when you would like to see the review videos and if you would like to see more of them and if there's any products that you would like reviewed. So today, before we get the video started, I have a confession to make and this is a fail. This video is a total fail. The idea with the dragon, now you'll see he's a little further on as you'll get to in the video because I'm trying to film and edit and do everything all at once. Um, so I wanted to make this video of what I was doing for his toes. Now I had the brilliant idea before I started with them, I wanted to try and make like oven baked clay toes because I've worked with FIMO and everything since I was a child and I love the stuff. But as I was making it, I was using some of this florist tape and I realised that I didn't want to stick anything in the oven with the florist tape on and I wanted to make the toes actually attached and baked onto the frame. So I thought I would try a different product um, an air dried clay, I'd never used it before. Now, as I say, rather fail as you'll see, but I wanted to include this, rather than this being a total dragon tutorial of do this, do that, weigh out this amount of this, because that's not how I needle felt. I wanted to show you all the steps in how I make something, and you can follow along on what I'm doing and learn by my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> which there will be quite a lot of but this is how I felt I try a bit if I don't like it I add a bit more I take away a bit more it's not it's an artistic process it's not a science for me I thought I'd include my mistakes which include working with this air dried clay so as you'll see from the video I had terrible trouble trying to shape the polymer clay and what's not so clear but I I felt it when I was trying to sculpt it round the wire of his toes it almost felt like it was constantly hollow. It was never clinging to the toes. It was always rolling round and it just didn't feel nice. And you'll see in later videos when I'm showing you how I'm putting on on his his core wall, you'll see that it actually turned out being quite brittle and the toes fell off anyway. But I wanted to include this so you can see some of the steps that don't go quite so well. If you haven't already, have a look at the building of the wire armature for the dragon. That's a much better video than this one. Um, but anyway, let's get to my disaster and I'll see you at the end. Thank you so much for joining me and bearing with me on my bit of a disaster today. 
but it happens to us all doesn't it um but anyway if you if you enjoyed this or if you're enjoying following my dragon please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you'd like and come back next thursday also if you can give me a comment below on what your favourite colouring and dragons are and everything. I've got an idea in my head so far of making them purples and pinks but I'm open to any suggestions if you have any ideas. I, mean, obviously, I say purple and pinks. I wonder where I got my inspiration from. Anyway, thank you so much for, for being with me and I'll see you next week.